Hello and welcome to Code Basics Coding Tutorial. Today's topic is iterators in Python and we are going to cover basically the introduction on iterator and then we will implement our own iterator using a class. So first let's begin with what is an iterator. I have python idle shell open here and I'm going to first show you how you typically use for loop to iterate through an array. Let's say I have an array of string which says hey bro you are awesome. Okay now if you want to iterate through this array you will just say this. Okay and it works you might have tried this before but have you ever wondered how it works internally this loop right here is going through these elements one by one and that process of going through elements one by one is called iterating through a loop internally it uses the built-in function called iter so if i just say dir of a uh, it will show you the list of methods now among these there is this iter method which is a built-in method so if you use that let's see what happens i will say i equal to or i will say itr equal to iter a now what iter gives me here is a list iterator object now using the iterator object you can go go to a next element in this list so if I call this next method on itr it will print me the first element okay if I call it again by the way in idle if you want to repeat the old command you can use alt p uh, shortcut okay so I'm just using all P all P all P and it just it is now at the last element so let's see what happens if I call it one more time okay so now it's calling it's raising the stop iteration exception so this is how for loop works basically it has an iterator and each time when you uh, iterate through it it's internally calling next uh, method on the itr object and you can see the next method on itr object here so you can see that method here okay so this is a basic introduction on what iterator is uh, there are few other examples of iterator that you can see in the at in this uh, screenshot the first one is iterating through a list the second one is iterating through a tuple the third one is iterating through the dictionary keys the fourth one is basically iterating through all the characters in the string and the fifth example is iterating through every line in a file all of these four loops internally are using uh, iterators okay okay now there is also a reverse iterator available which allows you to iterate through a list in reverse and the way you get that is by calling this reversed method this is a built-in method so now on iter if I call next you notice that it is giving me the last element uh, if you call it one more time it's gonna be last second element so this is basically iterating in a reverse order and this reversed method is a built-in method which you can see here so when you say dir a you see reverse method right uh, always these uh, majority of these built-in methods has underscore underscore which you can ignore basically and just type call this method directly so now let's go ahead and implement our own iterator class let's say you want to design a remote control class where uh, 
when you press a next button it will give you the next channel on a tv so in order to implement that class we will first write a simple class called remote control okay now if you have already taken my uh, tutorial on the how to define classes then you already should have some idea on how you can define the classes okay I'm just assuming here that you already know uh, how to write classes so here I create a remote control class and what I'm doing here is I'm just initializing a list of channels uh, as a static list variable and then I will have an indexed variable so index variable is where like what channel you are on right now so minus one is your TV is off and you don't have any channel coming in okay now in order to implement iterator you have to uh, define this itr built-in method okay and this itr built-in method will return the self object so when you call itr on remote control class object it will return you the same class object basically okay this might be a little confusing but uh, you will get better understanding when we start using this and the next thing you need to do is you need to always uh, define your next uh, method because once you have iterator uh, object you need to have next method implemented because that's how iterator object works whenever you call next on iterator object it always gives you the next result okay so for the first thing I want to do here is I want to uh, increase the index by one so let's say you have a remote control you start your TV then your TV you are at minus one and you want to now come to the first channel which is SBO so that's why I'm increasing this index okay and if at any given point of time uh, your index is equal to the length of this channel meaning if it is end of this channel list then you want to stop iterating you want to then raise stop iteration so this is a standard protocol for iterators that whenever it reaches the end it always raises the stop iteration otherwise it returns the element in self dot channels so you are basically what you're doing here is just returning the next available channel okay now I am going to define my remote control class now so I will say okay so first what I did is I define my remote control class okay and my iter is iter of r okay so this iter is an iterator object and then I will say print next of iter okay and you can just keep on printing it as many times as you would like okay so let's run this program and see what happens uh, so all right let me just run it first okay so here it printed HBO first, CNN, ABC, ESPN, and in the end it raised the stop iteration. Okay, uh, let me now debug through it so that you know how it is, how this is working. So I'm going to set a breakpoint here. In order to set a breakpoint, you just click in this span here, and it will set a breakpoint, and then you click on this bug icon. Bug means debug. Okay, so let's see. Cool, so you are now, now let me close this one. Okay, so you are at the very first line of your program. Okay, so I'm here and now in order to go to the next uh, line, 
Uh, you can use this button or you can use F10 key. So when you press this, it initializes this R object, which is a remote control class object. Now let's go inside this and see what happens. So to go inside this method, you have to use this particular button or the F11 uh, shortcut. It's called step into. So you are going inside this function. So when you go inside this function, you notice you now came here because ITR is same as underscore underscore ITR. So it's, it's always going to call this method. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Now ITR here, it says it's underscore underscore main remote control object at this. So it is basically your iterator object. Now you are going to call next method and I'm going to again step into that method using F11 control or this particular button. And when I do that, you notice it's calling this method. So when you call next, it's calling underscore underscore next. And when you call iter, it's calling underscore underscore iter. This is how Python works. Basically, it, it knows that it has to call this method. Um, and you just keep on pressing this button. At this point, your if you want to know what is your self index, then you can look in, into this variable pan. And here the index is zero. So in the list, the index starts from zero. So it's going to return HBO here. Okay. So uh, let me press this button one more time. And so I'm now at the next uh, call. And if you look at console, you see that it printed HBO. Okay. Uh, if you go into that one more time, again, it's coming to the same next method. Uh, and here you can see now it printed CNN. You can keep on doing that. Just so one more time. If you don't want to go inside and if you want to just go to the next line directly, you can use this button or F10 keyword. That's called step over. Okay. So now I am at ESPN. So now I'm going to go inside this method because it's going to raise top iteration now because we are at the end of the list. Okay. So let's see. Now self dot index, if you notice what is self dot index, so self dot index is four and length of self dot channels is also four, right? One, two, three, four. So it is going to go into this if condition. Uh, so now it is raising this top iteration exception. Okay, so if you look at your console now, uh, I'm going to just uh, Yep. So now here it raised the stop iteration. Okay, so that was all about iterators. Thank you for watching.